People is proud to present the fourth season of the 40 Days 40 Fintechs, an initiative under its Include Everyone program, which is leading the way in advocating for technology that promotes financial inclusivity. Since 2020, we've profiled over 100 fintechs and our latest season is shining a spotlight on those breaking down digital barriers and transforming lives for the better. My name is Linda Arua. I am currently a student of Makerere University. My name is Mbeza Rachel Lona a student at Macquarie University. My name is Maria Vivian Awar. I'm Ranga Aksam, CEO Aspen Technologies Limited, a startup company uh, in Uganda, Kampala. Aspen Technologies Limited uh, is a, a software development company that aims to create uh, solutions to problems that uh, are helping to change people's lives. The problem is with uh, students, and uh, we, are, uh, we are trying to bridge the gap uh, when students study. Uh, it's called uh, an academic personal assistant board, which helps students to access all the necessary resources directly from their chat box. I remember in year two, I was in a discussion with my friend, and then she tells me about Ida, this interesting up so i get interested about it so she gives me the number because you literally get the number save it as ida and then you send a message to ida and then it responds initially when when de when we developed the academic personal assistant that is ada at Macquarie university it was a free trial for a whole year for, for the students and we had a number of of 200 users and those were the students at Macquarie university basically we started with courses that is the, the College of Computing and Information Sciences. When, when we reached the year 2023, we added a payment gateway where students, where, where students were paying 2,000 for the services they access per month. Since we are dealing with students, we didn't want to complicate this whole process for, for them. That's why we narrowed down to to uh, a price that, that is really favorable for everyone. So, so far we have, we have two, two, 200 transactions this year. What uh, the academic personal assistant chatbot does is to help students, it's a game challenging for all students, uh, to help students get all the required information on from their school, including their grades, uh, their results, the, the news, uh, the notes. How it works is a student is required to provide, uh, to add a number, a WhatsApp number to their chat or to their WhatsApp. You just add a number, we give you a link, you add that number. By just typing hi, it gives you a menu of all the details you need, like, hey, this is Aida, your academic personal assistant. How do you want us to help you? It's a chatbot. Uh, what it means uh, for you as a front end, you're just chatting to a person. You're just chatting to a virtual person. I found about IDA last year. Um, I started interacting with it, I think, in the middle of the year. IDA has really been helpful because since mostly we use WhatsApp in our daily interactions, and whenever I wake up, we always interact with WhatsApp, Ida has been integrated with WhatsApp and it has enabled me access all my school accounts. For example, the students' photo, our Muele photos, where we get our notes. We've been able to access all those accounts using Ida, which we can access on our WhatsApps. Once you click on a service, it will check if whether that service, if you're already subscribed or logged in. And then if you're lo not logged in, it will require you to provide uh, a login credentials. And then after you agree that um, on, as you're providing, it will tell you due consent that you are going to use this information to access your services. Once you consent, and then you accept that, yes, I want Ida to have access to my personal account. It will automatically log in. If you subscribe, then it will give you the service that you want. If you're not, it will tell you that you're going to have a subscription that you're going to pay. Uh, that's like, depending on the kind of services you want, if it's one can, it will be for a month, then that means it will automatically, using that number that you've used to chat with, it will automatically give you a prompt to add money from your wallet. That's uh, from your mobile money. You will input your PIN, 
and then automatically once we receive the payment you receive the services from there uh, the solution aims at uh, bridging the gap that uh, you know when it comes to making research receiving your results what those things it requires you to travel sometimes distances to go to those schools but imagine you sitting uh, at your phone looking at directly to your phone just a mere type and then every information you need you get it immediately right away real time any changes that happens maybe at your school any changes that happens on the internet any changes that happens maybe in uh, youtube or what that are related to your personal lifestyle are brought directly to your whatsapp directly to the app using our bot instead of me going to my muele muele is a platform we used to get notes and some lecturers also upload their marks there for coursework I just go to Ida and then I tell Ida hi and then she'll tell me it will tell me what do you want like Moele or the Porto Porto as well we can get our marks or petition so I, I tell the first time I interact with Ida I tell it I want Moele because that was a coursework we had been assigned so I interact with it and actually I get the coursework on my phone and the challenges that we are facing as a startup one of them is market since we are venturing into an industry where there are very many competitors providing the same services that we are providing, it has really been challenging since very many companies don't really don't have have that perception of of not of not trusting the early stage companies that are just coming up. As spent technologies, we have the desire to impact. By that I mean uh, we we see that we have the using the knowledge there we believe we have the positivity to create solutions that are going to help people in our community using the knowledge we've acquired from the university why do we need to go for employment yet we can create employment where it can help people's lives the advice to my fellow students that this is really a helpful service that ida like gives to us so i'm requesting all Macquarie university students to please embrace it and Put it to use because it's really here to help us we shall never have missing marks the 40 days for the fintech program greatly helps in putting out the fintech industry because it it showcases different companies and different companies are out there but they are not known and the 40 days for the fintech pro program has really helped them put put their products out there in, in a way that people who don't know about these products and services get to know about them. For more details, you can reach us at www.aspenuganda.com. Join us in this financial inclusivity revolution presented in partnership with Level 1 Project, Cyber PLC Academy, Cross Select Technologies, Infitex, Ideation Corner, and the Modulo Foundation with generous support from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Follow hashtag 40 days for the fintechs, hashtag Level 1 Project to learn more and get involved in creating a brighter financial future for all.